In the race for new Olympic golds, Utah now has no competition. It's a big change from 30 years ago when Salt Lake had to fight hard to win the games. Brian Malahi is live downtown and Brian IOC reps are here right now for a look. They were right here at the Delta Center, which was point in 2002, would be again in 2034. But even as the IOC is in town, even as it's taking a closer look, this time the Olympics seem to be Utah's to lose. On and off the field, the Olympics forged fierce international competition. When we welcome the world. But now the game. It is for all of us a honor. Of getting the games has changed. Is there really any competition with Salt Lake City for 2034? It doesn't appear like there's competition. No, this one is a new way of the IOC. Carl Stoss leads the IOC delegation now in Utah. Also for 2034, there is no competition at the moment. There's just one candidate. For the 2002 Olympics, allegations of bribing the IOC before the torch was ever lit. The case was dismissed. Today, 10 years out from Utah's almost certain next Olympics, no hint of the same. Have we gone from a situation where Salt Lake City was begging the IOC for the games to the IOC begging Salt Lake City to take the games? Well, I wouldn't use the word begging, but I would inviting. We wanted to invite the IOC here and now we feel like they're inviting us back in to host the games because they see the passion. So the IOC says it is negotiating exclusively with Salt Lake for 2034. Several more days of visiting here for IOC members, the delegation, and uh, then after that a final decision by the IOC for the Salt Lake Games expected in July. Live downtown, Brian Malahi, KUTV 2 News.